Hi. Due to the recent pandemic, lot of courses, schooling, education, and even work has moved online and remote. We are consuming so much of information online in the form of audio, video, and webex, and other information. Now, more specifically for schools, where for small children, it becomes difficult for them to go through the video and observe everything during the online session. and it becomes even more difficult for parents to go and watch the video from beginning and then uh, basically uh, pass it back to the kids they have to go through the entire cycle of video again to get that done similarly in colleges today we have a lot of information online where students refer to multiple videos uh, in youtube or other channel and then try to collect information from that but one thing is they lack a way of getting uh, the information transcribed and taking notes as the video is running while they can do it manually but again it's going to be a tedious activity so what if we have a mechanism where we can take a video it can be a youtube video or a regular video and transcribe all information about that video so i have a video today can i convert the video into text the speech to text right can i take some frames of the video or more specifically thumbnail in the case and can i convert that into text in addition can i get more metadata about the video as well right so as we are collecting this metadata and video and frame level information and time level information we can take all this and create an uh, search index like we can use elastic search or we can use mongo db or we can use any no sql database right and index all the data and if you want to go and do a quick search on which video spoke about what content how easy it will be even for the schooling case which i mentioned parents can take this uh, create like an uh, a small database of indexes and then go and search and if they exactly know if the particular information was spoken on 5 uh, minutes in the video they can directly go to 5 minutes and check uh, what what check more details on it or they can even read the transcription right so how can we achieve that using python while this looks easy we are going to see hands on how we can do it in python and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a youtube video and show you how we can download in python how we can transcribe how we can get the metadata about the video so we have a lot to cover in this uh, video i'm going to rush up something because uh, some part of it because i have separate videos for it you can see the video description below and you can go and look into detail where i have covered some part of speech to text ocr and other aspect of it but i will cover to the detail that is required you can you can just uh, reproduce the code and you can develop yourself so let's get started so for this what i am doing i am installing the uh, this package as wget is basically nothing but uh, to download a file from a remote server you can use wget you can even type a unix wget command where which i am typing now or this is a wget package where you can use it in python i am using easy ocr so if i want to go and uh, take frames of uh, the video and then do uh, kind of ocr on it basically convert the frames into the readable text i can use that but i am going to just use it to uh, take the thumbnail in the youtube video and do a ocr i am using deep speech for speech to text i am using deep speech gpu it can run on gpu as well so i am going to show our streaming and also how we can get the time stamp with each spoken word i am using pafi to collect more metadata about the youtube video i am using youtube by fundl which is an youtube download package that i can use to download youtube uh, download any youtube rather right based on based on the video id so these are all the packages i have already run couple of steps uh, then i am downloading two models these are like models for speech to text with deep speech users one is the acoustic model so basically when somebody is talking you are converting those acoustic into uh, readable text and second is the language model now when the readable text may not be perfect so language language model understand the context based on the sp words spoken before and after and try to correct uh, correct the output of the acoustic model so that is the language model again uh, easy oc so again on deep speech i have a separate video explaining in detail you can uh, watch in the video description uh, below where i have given all the details or click the link on the top and uh, watch it 
right? Uh, then I'm importing all the packages that I have used to download here. I'm importing Deep Speech, NumPy, Wave, Easy OCR, Paffy. I'm also importing a couple of handy IPython functions to view audio, image, and YouTube video in the Jupyter Notebook. So these are the packages I'm importing. Now, first thing is I'm going to set up the speech to text, uh, uh, speech to text portion. So what I'm doing is the model file I have downloaded, the acoustic model, I am setting it to a variable. The language file I have downloaded, I'm setting it to a variable. I'm setting some of the parameters uh, to run this particular speech to text transcriptions. Uh, the beam width, alpha and beta. Alpha and beta are language model parameter and beam width is basically acoustic model uh, parameter. So the more the beam width, the better accuracy you will get, uh, but it will take also time to transcribe. I'm setting it to five, five, uh, 500 for now. I am creating a model object uh, from deep speech and then I am giving the model file path. I am getting a model object and I am setting the external scorer, the language model. So what is going to do is it's going to take the acoustic model. That is the model first time setting and I get a model object and on top of the acoustic model, I am telling whatever transcription is happening, run the language model. And then what I'm doing is I'm setting the parameters in the model, like the alpha beta parameter that I set on the top and the beam width I set on the top, right? So till this step, I have already run it. Now, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell which YouTube I want to download, which YouTube uh, video I want to download. So in this case, I'm just giving the YouTube ID. So when you go and go to a YouTube where watch a video, you can see on the top, finally, in the URL, you can see the video ID. And that is this video ID. And then I am using the YouTube uh, inbuilt IPython function to watch the, to kind of display the video. So this is the YouTube video we are going to transcribe. This is basically nothing but a uh, speech given by Bill and Melinda Gates for the class of 2020, uh, for the graduating class of 2020. So let's quickly hear a miniature version of the video. The video is two and a half minutes. I just want to quickly uh, create the start Spending of the video. Spending a Saturday night on the computer, it's pretty standard in our household, but we realize you probably had a much different kind of celebration planned. Graduations are a big So I'll deal. pause it now. You, you, you just heard the starting of the video. So what I'm going to do is this video is there. I'm going to download the video and I'm going to transcribe it. And also, if you see, there was when we loaded this video, there was an thumbnail image. I'm going to take the thumbnail image and do the OCR. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to collect more metadata about that video. Uh, we will know like uh, basically what is the duration of the video, uh, how many people liked it or disliked it, and description of the video the title of the video those information right so first i'm building the url this is the url you can see on top of the uh, any video that you watch in youtube so here what i'm doing is i'm setting the url youtube.com slash watch and then i'm giving the youtube id that created on the top so let me create the url object then I am using this YouTube download package that I have installed. What I am telling in the YouTube download package is extract the audio and I am telling the audio format is wave and put the output into gates.the extension. So by default what will happen is it will create an MPEG4 format. Right, and I'm giving the URL over here. So once I run it, it's going to go and download the only the audio from this particular video directly from YouTube. And you can see like it create I created something like uh, basically gates.wav file, right? And that's what we are going to use now, this wave file. So it's by default like uh, going to uh, create a wave extension because I've given a wave uh, file, but the audio is basically MP4A, which is nothing but an MPEG-4 version of it, right? Then I'm giving this FFMEG package. FFMEG package, like if you know, it's basically used to convert audio format and audio codec and everything. So yeah, I'm going to use that. I'm going to give my, give my wave file. I'm going to convert it into 16,000 16, uh, kilohertz, uh, uh, basically, uh, frame rate. That's what I'm doing over here. I'm, I, and I'm saving it in an output file called gates underscore ds dot wave file. So once I have this, well, if you see the output I have with the audio file gates underscore ds dot wave. So what I'm going to do is let me uh, quickly run and play this one. Uh, you can you can hear the audio. It's the same video, but what I have done is I have taken the video and I have uh, converted into an audio file. So let me quickly play this. You can see the same thing. Spending a Saturday night on the computer. So again, I'm not going to play fully. Standard in our household, 
but we realize you yeah. probably had a now, much different In this case, I've taken the video, I've extracted the audio from it. Now let's take this audio and transcribe it. So there are two modes of transcribing it. One is the streaming mode. Now, because this, we are, this audio is around two minutes and 19 seconds, you can either upload the entire audio and wait for uh, it to get transcribed. It will take a few minutes. Otherwise, what you can do is you can also create a streaming. So as the audio is getting uh, transcribed, you can also print the output. That's where the streaming comes into play. So first I'm creating a streaming object, model.createStream. So model is the uh, model is the, uh, the deep speech model the object that I created on the top with the acoustic and language model. I'm creating the stream object. I'm creating a function to read the wave file. So basically this function will take a file name it will open the file and then it will get the frame rate that is 16,000 uh, kilohertz that we saw on the top and then it will get the number of frames and the buffer size of the uh, audio. The buffer size is nothing but the byte size that is for 2.9 minutes, 2 minutes and 19 seconds whatever the byte size is there it will be that and it's hitting the buffer and rate these are the two things it is running. In the bottom part what I am doing is I am creating a function called transcribe screaming. So, Transcribe streaming, what I'm doing is I'm calling this rewave audio file. I'm getting the buffer and rate. I'm just iterating it. I'm telling read this particular audio in a batch size of 65 KB. So rather than waiting for the entire, you just take that 65 KB and then basically take that particular audio and chunk it, chunk it into 65 KB size. That's what I'm telling NP from, uh, from buffer and then basically uh, print the audio. So that's what I'm doing over here. Take the audio and uh, keep printing the audio. This print text will do that. So if you want to clear output after printing test, you can uh, use the clear output. I have disabled it, uh, but you can use that as well. So I'm not sure if I ran the uh, previous two commands. Let me run this command, this command, and then this command. And then I can call the transcribe streaming function with the wave file that we created. So once I start running it, it's going to continuously start transcribing the audio. If you see here, spending on the last day on the computer. So it's kind of like transcribing it and printing it continuously. I'm not going to wait for it to complete. It'll take a good amount of time. Let me go and stop this. And then what we can also do, I'll show you like how to do the batch transcription uh, because you may be more interested if you want to uh, get a full transcription, do batch transcription. Yeah, I just stopped it. But if you uh, basically uh, see over here, it has started transcribing. Uh, uh, basically, you can see like it has started transcribing over here. As, as you move forward, um, it will it, it is just transcribing step by step. So if you move towards then you can see like some of the audio here, miles, miles here to challenge because I have given a 65 KB of audio buffer rate. Right. The other option I can do if streaming is not required, I can do a batch transcription. See, in this, it's a very simple function. I'm not doing anything. I'm just telling read wave audio file. And in the np dot from buffer, I am putting the entire buffer. And then I am telling in this case model dot so model dot stt with metadata so let me run this and let me explain it uh, it will take some time to run so what stt with metadata means is you also need the timestamp when a particular word occurred or a character occurred by default this will put a character level print so for each character it will show you it occurred in um, one minute to 1.01 minute next occurred from 1.02 to 1.03 minute as i said if you see this batch is going to take some time that's why the streaming actually starts printing it as soon as we start to start transcribing it so once the batch is complete you can see basically it gives a json file with each character that is spoken over there all right so if you if you basically see over here it's showing and after each character it's separated by an space so if you want to convert the character to the word read this json file iterate it and if you find a space uh, basically you combine that and to make it a word right and it's giving the start time of each uh, particular utterance that is spoken so that is about transcript now we have the transcription right the next thing is we want to get the information uh, from the uh, from the thumbnail of the video so, <clears throat> sorry. So to get the thumbnail, what I'm doing is I'm doing importing wget package. Now, as you know, wget is basically to download a uh, file or uh, any kind of information from a URL. So in this case, I'm setting the thumbnail URL to this part. Uh, the, it's it's image.youtube.com slash vi, the YouTube ID that we created on the top and hqdefault.jpg. So it will give the high quality image of that particular video. And I am telling print thumbnail and then I am downloading uh, the thumbnail uh, over here. 
So this is a thumbnail URL and it will download the thumbnail URL. If you do an LS, you can basically see like HQ default or JPJ is over here, right? And also the wave file that we created earlier is over here. Now, let me quickly print the thumbnail. Uh, this is HQ default and let me do an image of thumbnail. You can see this is the thumbnail of that particular video. You can also take the video run frame by frame and do OCR but I'm going to stick on to W uh, I'm going to stick on to the thumbnail over here now I have this what I'm going to do is I'm going to run OCR so let me run these two function so in this case what I'm doing is I am uh, calling the easy OCR dot reader I'm telling language is English and by default it's going to download the detection and recognition model so what the detection model does it it will check the occurrence of a character and it will drop bounding box across this characters right uh, so basically deer will be a bounding box class will be a bounding box of and so on and what the recognition model does is basically it will go and take the detection and then try to convert that into text right and that's what like we have, we have done over here basically if you see over here it has downloaded the model it has taken this thumbnail image the reader dot read text will take the thumbnail image and i've set some parameters like with threshold and link threshold again as i said i have a separate ocr video where i have covered this in detail you can look the video description and get that right here it's if you see oh, based on the thumbnail it has uh, done Bill and Melinda Kids properly, Dear Class of 2020 properly, but the YouTube originals, it has done some mistake. It has just said View Loop originals. The reason is maybe YouTube is very close to the image and there's some overlapping internally. It's not able to do it, but overall, like uh, it, has, it has been able to recognize most of the character and convert that into a text. So now we have the video. Uh, video data as an audio file and as a transcribed speech to text we have basically uh, the bill and melinda gates uh, um, uh, have, what are the thumbnail converted into text so we have this information finally we are going to get the video description and that's where i'm going to use a package called paffy so what i'm doing is i'm telling like uh, paffy package dot new i'm giving the same url that i created on the top the youtube video slash watch and everything i'm replacing the slash characters i have, I have some like uh, kind of slash characters on the top with spaces and then I am taking the uh, video object and from this what I can do is I can print the video title. So the video title says like build and Melinda Kate's dear class of 2020. If I print the video itself, it will show all the information about the video. Now I have the metadata of the video. I have the data from the video. I have the OCR text from the video. I can take all this, create a single JSON object and then I can maybe put it into some kind of NoSQL database that can allow me to go and search for a particular instance. Now, uh, in a college, if I am going through 50 such videos, I can do all that and I can query like which video is talking about a particular instance. If you want to recollect it, right, you can go and get that and you can uh, basically uh, directly go into the video, that particular time duration, and you can start seeing it. So that's about this video. Thank you very much.